Welcome to another channel teaching. My name is Rena Wells. I am an intuitive medicine woman. I work with sacred plants like ayahuasca. If you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one during a retreat or I'm running a special right now for forecast readings for 2021 um, and all other information, coaching sessions and whatnot, everything is down below. I also have blog teachings on my website, so make sure you go and take a look at that. I've been published in the Minds Journal and we're going to get started. So the first thing that Spirit is, oh, Spirit's backing me up. <laughs> I always forget housekeeping because I just want to jump right in. Spirit is saying, tell them to subscribe, like, and share, and comment. Please, you guys, it helps the channel to grow. And honestly, if it wasn't in my logical mind, I, I don't think for my mind, I'm, I'm very intuitive. So I work in a completely opposite fashion. I don't think I feel and channel first. And everything that I do so I'm sorry I have to spirit is like telling me to say that so please make sure that you like share and subscribe and, okay now we can jump into it okay. <clears throat> so spirit is bringing in through clear direction here in regards to twin flames and, and soulmates this is also for highly sensitive new leaders of the new earth and so this isn't just about sacred partnership but there definitely is going to be um, an understanding of how dark codes trans trans thank you trans uh, mutated not transmutated what is that word spirit trans transmitted thank you and how they transform thank you they're bringing up those two words in regards to your DNA lineage, what happens with your lineage and the trans the transmission of codes between the DNA lineage, which also creates the like frequency vibration, but also between twin flames where they don't have the same DNA, but they have the same energy blueprint. And they choose, thank you Spirit is saying, similar DNA lineages that hold the same betrayal codes. Okay. So I want to get into betrayal because this has been a big thing in my family lineage uh, considering we have discovered that we have finished blood and we've been doing a little research and believe that we are of descendants of Romani Gypsy mainly because we're wondering where did uh, the finished blood come from <laughs> and spirit is bringing through the codes When the codes come through through the lineage in every they're showing me in every cycle in every time there is an incarnation those codes build up so they're taking me way back to the beginning of time before humans existed on the planet there was still a consciousness that was formed and that was with the bacteria with the plants with the trees and we rose out of the water and so spirit is saying darwin wasn't completely wrong in regards to the evolution of humans but spirit says that it was the consciousness that created it, the humans so that the consciousness can fit into a certain type of thank you spirit modality in order to choose right that is not run by just instinct and survival instinct alone and what's happening with humans as we evolve spirit is saying is that these codes have piled up with every single incarnation from the time of the first human that walked out of the water to this present day and so spirit is saying can you imagine the amount of coding that we are able to receive from a lineage and they're bringing up that whatever lineage you decided to incarnate into is it is a direct effect of the frequencies that you manifest in your life and depending on how much that we clear of those dark codes from our body is the amount of your blueprint that is able to filter down into your through your higher self into your temple to activate those light codes perfect and they're they're bringing up to listen to the first video 
the last video of sorry it's not the first it's the first video of this that they're saying about dna coding so i guess i'm going to be doing more and they're bringing up um to listen to that of how twin flames complement each other because the dark codes work in the same fashion so spirit is not saying in regards to how um the codes are exchanged right they're they want to get into the layered effect very much like an onion of what we're actually peeling back in this incarnation in this present time and where the mass consciousness is currently shifting so they're showing me uh, a bubble okay so if you can visualize a bubble or a cell a single cell i'm kind of seeing it like a you know a raindrop and spirit is saying this is a code okay if you can visualize that that is a code and it's very much like a, a clear water droplet is what I'm seeing. Um, they're showing me like an ant walking around with a water droplet. I don't know if you've seen that picture, but it's clear. And they're saying this is the coating of the DNA. It's clear, it's pure, it's translucent, it's transparent, uh, it's it shines. And Dickie Spirit is saying that the chakras, if you've noticed, are in the same alignment as a rainbow. And so light energy that you remember from science class back in school, that when you put a prism in front of pure white light, it breaks it into a rainbow. And Spirit is saying that's exactly what happens when your higher self comes down into your body. It Your body acts as a prism that then that's why your chakras are shown in that type of same spectrum and alignment as a rainbow and what we are doing is activating each chakra so that each chakra is completely cleared so that pure light can move through a clear prism your body is to become completely clear and and now they want to get into how the dark codes are transmuted so every time that we have an incarnation, as we continue to evolve and grow, and we move out of different layers of consciousness, from animalistic, from survival, into the industrial era, they're bringing up how we started to realize the capabilities of the mind, that we had to all move. Thank you. They bring up 500 years ago, we all had to move into a predominantly masculine energy in a distorted masculine energy and 500 years ago they're bringing up the hopi uh, rainbow prophecy where they were given prophecies in regards to there was going to be a 500 years of destruction on the planet before we were going to see healers that were going to return to the planet they were going to come in uh, different forms that the original healers of the planet of 500 years ago were going to show up in different colored skins so white skin asian skin brown skin black skin etc and this is to bring back they're saying the return of the feminine and in the last 500 years all of us came here purposely to understand darkness to understand the dark coding so spirit wants you to realize that no matter how dark and sinister these coatings are they're bringing up the watiko that's another form of dark energy where they want to get into that as well is to not to embody it but to understand the power of it to understand the density of it how it moves how it interacts, how it affects your life, how it affects others around you, what it does to the planet, what it does to feminine energy. Because we are all born of the womb, we are all born of the mother. And Spirit is bringing up, this came up in the reading as well that I posted earlier today, you may want to look at that, but they're bringing up in regards to the chicken or the egg, which comes first. It's it's always a mind, yeah, a mind trick. I wanted to swear that what they're saying, Rita, keep it clean. Uh, uh, it messes with your mind. Okay. And because of the manipulation of the psyche 
this was the manipulation thank you they're bringing up of the brain and the thought patterns had to go through tremendous amount of darkness in order to break that ego thank you spirit they're bringing back that when we first emerged out of the water and we came out into survival mode that we were very animalistic and that in order for that brain to evolve we had to go into a completely distorted masculine now they're bringing up contracts with darker forces from other places of consciousness in other realms spirit is bringing up that thank you we live in a universe but there are other multi-universes around us in our universe before the 500 year mark hit when the world went into chaotic destruction of this contract there was a darker force that came from another realm that is called the Watiko, and a lot of indigenous people know of this now, personally, they want me to go into my experience with the darker energies, that I have experienced dark energy since I was a child. So demons and sinister things, things trying to possess me. Uh, when I first opened up to tarot, <clears throat> when I was 18 years old, I had a spiritual warfare where a dark entity was trying to overtake me. And this is how I know discernment so, so strongly, because I've been able to claim my power against these dark things and they want to bring up that i've had sometimes five demons at once trying to overtake me in my sleep um, and i've been able to bring in god force and to counter that so in regards to these darker forces spirit is saying that 500 years ago that before we made a contract with the Watiko, we were able to work with the natural darkness it's a certain level of darkness that we were able to work with a certain level of darkness uh, which is fear based and our spirit wants you to recognize how important your emotions are in regards to these dark codes okay these dark codes always attach to an emotion and that's how you know that you're dealing with God's darkness thank you spirit is saying God has two faces and a lot of us don't want to see that that there is destruction when there is creative force energy and that the devil in our all our religions and whatnot was a fallen angel who purposely came to work the darkness in this realm so that humans can learn in their consciousness and so things that we face that are demons possession dark things walking around if there is an energy of fear anger jealousy envy all of those lower vibrational feelings spirit is saying you could recognize that those are learning tools given from the divine from when the darkness fell from consciousness and incarnated on the earth where we get a lot of our religions of what's dark entities now there is something else that does not have a consciousness and spirit says this was not the contract of god's will this is something else from somewhere else they want me to bring up my ayahuasca experience of a shaman thank you of a shaman and somebody else that um there are two people i'm not going to bring it up but two well i'll just say medicine people that i have done ayahuasca with and when i first started to recognize the watiko the watiko is an energy force that does not have any feeling okay at least with darkness you know you're afraid it's triggering an emotional response within you it's triggering something within you spirit wants you to recognize that spirit says those are the those are things that you put in your blueprint as karma as past life things that you know that that darkness can counteract to bring into your light now what a lot of sensitive empaths are not noticing is um that there is another energy that's called the batiko okay and spirit is bringing up egypt okay that a lot of our history has been completely destroyed with the burning of alexandria it was our potent mystic library on the planet was taken over with the Watiko. they also want you to recognize that a lot of the terminology with roman gods greek gods egyptian gods that a lot of the history spirit spirit is saying if you if you really look into the egyptian history a lot of egyptian scholars and historians don't want to actually talk about ancient egypt they have 
purposely created a timeline based on, all around the burning of Alexandria, the, the Library of Alexandria. And the Library of Alexandria, is fair to say, it's, it was all mysticism, a lot of occult activity with uh, tarot and runes and how to speak to spirit and the balance of, thank you, spirit is saying, the women were the natural healers of the planet, that the feminine energy uh, in the Egyptian world, that there were uh, massive leap. They weren't pharaohs, they were women. So that's something new for me to take a look into and to, and to research. Uh, Spirit is saying that it was the women that had these divination tools. They're bringing up Isis was a very strong, um, so strong feminine energy that that is something that we can rely on. But they also want you to recognize that the history has been changed. And you'll notice that <clears throat> this is why we start to see animalistic heads and reptilian heads and different things mixed in, in Egyptian mythology. They're saying the same thing happens with Greek mythology, okay, where you get half uh, centaurs and things like that. They're bringing up that that, that merges the animalistic reptilian brain with the human form. And so all of us have these dark codes, and this is uh, not the dark codes from God. This is Watiko. These are implants. These are things that we have, uh, over the last 500 years, have really fallen in consciousness because of this Watiko. Now, they want me to go back to the story with ayahuasca. I knew something was off with these shamans that I was working with when I couldn't feel anything. Now, I'm so intuitive, you guys. They want me to tell you this story. I am so intuitive that I can feel everything. And it's been <laughs> it's been very difficult, okay? Very difficult for me to be able to manage these my sensitivity. I can even feel somebody's angry, fear-based, all of that, from the lowest feelings to the highest feelings. But when these shamans came and sat next to me during an ayahuasca ceremony, I felt nothing. And it made me feel very uncomfortable because I couldn't even feel fear, because I know how to deal with fear. I couldn't feel an emotion. It was nothing. And there was a telepathic connection between me and this shaman, that this shaman was scanning my body because it wanted to know why I was not being siphoned or affected. Now, I want you guys to be very careful with the shamans that you work with, with plant medicine. I have done ayahuasca outside of uh, the one shaman that I currently work with because I don't trust anybody else um, to open up that portal. I did go other places to do medicine and also try to psychically attack me. This happens a lot in the medicine community, so I want you guys to be very careful and very aware of this. Spirit is bringing this up because as we move into darker uh, days, okay, because we're continuing to fall to unravel the Watiko energy, okay, the the energy that has no consciousness, okay. They're bringing up the movie The Never Ending Story, the nothing. It's like a nothing that's overtaking our world. And this Watiko. Just give me a second <clears throat> to bring up the shamans again to go back. That uh, I knew that the person, the shaman, that their soul was not in their body at that moment. That they were completely taken over by this unconscious emptiness, I, I, the nothing, I'll call it. And um, I knew it was scanning me and I completely turned my energy away. I even tried to speak to the person, but they did not respond to me either. Uh, I said their name and I said, you know, I love you. You know, I, I'm so thankful for you. Nothing. Completely ignored me. It wanted me to know that the soul that I was talking to had completely vacated during the ceremony. Okay. And I'm bringing this up because Spirit wants me to, for you to know how uncomfortable the Watiko is, okay? And so everyone on this planet, Spirit is saying, if you can have some compassion, yes, everyone is dealing with dark things and demons and, and things like this. However, that is a natural learning process that's given by God, okay? But there is a third energy, another energy, not a third energy like God, Christ consciousness. It is another dark energy, Spirit is saying, that is not of this universe, okay, this universe that we are in. It was created outside. 
Thank you. Spirit is saying everybody that's been incarnated on this planet has come from this universe. Okay. This is an infiltration from somewhere else. And I honestly can't tell you anything more because that's all I'm getting. And in this ceremony, I noticed that this person was not responding and it was that person was not in their body. And so I ignored the Watiko and kept, you know, sitting there. I smoke fresh tobacco because it grounds me. It's a masculine energy. And I only smoke real tobacco on ayahuasca. And I was grounding and I was just looking up at the stars and I was in love and I was just feeling. And I noticed the happier that I was and I could sit next to the Watiko that it didn't like that the happier I was, it, it wanted not to siphon me, okay? It wanted to get rid of me, okay? So spirit is really bringing through this energy to start having a discernment between your connection with your twin flame. Is it dark energy given by God to naturally learn pain, fear, sadness, attachment, codependency, all anger, jealousy, all of those things? Or is there an, is there a, an attack that is happening from something else that does not have a consciousness? And Spirit says, you will know the discernment because if you do not feel the fear, Thank you. Spirit is saying it's because the Wittiko comes and attacks you quietly. Okay. Go and listen to the reading that I just did. My alarm went off. Okay. Spirit is saying that was Wittiko. Okay. It It's not darker forces that affect your electronics. Thank you. Spirit is telling me this now. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's not darker forces that affect your computer or affect the light or affect, um, sorry, not the light, sorry, affect the electronics. They're saying it is another entity that is out of fear, which is called the Wachiko. Okay. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't like me talking about this either because I can feel it. And it's a very uncomfortable energy. Spirit is saying it is a heart palpitation. It feels almost like anxiety. They want you to recognize that you are being attacked when you feel those things, okay? Um, you can be completely in a, in a, in your vessel, Spirit is saying, doing your thing completely, but we are mistaking it for our twin. We're mistaking it for the other counterpart anxiety okay and it's not even a normal anxiety spirit is saying this is not when you're getting anxious about something this is like uh, a shaking okay you start to feel it shake in your bones and it starts with this anxiety feeling it's the best way that I can explain it and you'll know because spirit says all of a sudden you'll trip or you'll fall or um, they're bringing up an example that when I was in Italy I was attacked by the Watiko. I didn't know that was the, it was the Watiko until now. And Spirit is bringing up this example that there was something very dark. And the Watiko does not have a form. Demons have a form, okay? Um, even Poltergeist activity that I've worked with, it's a black mist. This Watiko, I can't even place a form on it, okay? It's just a nothing. It's the best way that I can explain it. And when I was in Italy, because of the DNA coding and because we have over the 500 years this infiltration, these implants that have been happening, it's in us. So it can affect us physically. And so when I was in Italy, I noticed this thing and I didn't know what it was, but I could feel it like it was just observing me. And that's what the Wittiko does. It observes you. So if you feel like you're being watched, it's with Tico. It's not spirit is bringing that very, very clear. It's not spirit. Okay. Demons. Thank you. They don't sit back and observe fully. Wow. Demons are siphoning. Thank you, spirit. Demon says, uh, sorry, God says my demons, when I send down, okay. Um, whatever the devil or those types of, um, the darker things, spirit says, uh, they carry the fear based stuff to help teach you to grow. This is what I work with shadow work. But the Watiko is completely different, okay? So 
the demons need energy to live right that's how they live so they siphon from you so they're not going to sit back and watch you okay they're going to drain you through encouraging you through your fear through your lack through your self-esteem by feeling crappy about yourself by hating yourself all of that what does not instigate feelings they it's an implant that they come right in and they can affect your physical uh body because it is already in the dna mixture and they're bringing that back up from egypt and when things in history started to shift and change and this entity things came in and started changing everything it's a control factor okay on the planet and our mother is trying to restore herself from this invasion because it's getting stronger okay because people are not realizing and spirit is saying especially in the new age community that we're, we want to sit in duality it's just dark and light spirit says there's so much more than that this is uh, another energy and so those that are ready to hear this are really ready to hear this okay and this is not to scare you guys this is to bring awareness to you guys spirit says i want you to know that you are powerful enough that anything that enters this 3d realm must conform to free will and so this Wetiko over the 500 years has made this plan to infiltrate the dna so that it can affect your free will because it's already inside of you wow okay so they're bringing up again for me to go back to when i was in italy and i felt this thing watching me but it wouldn't attack me it wouldn't come near me and I'm like what is this and you know i started to feel jittery like shaky like I couldn't, and you know, I went to, I was washing the dishes and the glass broke and then I cut myself and then I literally felt somebody push me and I fell. And I was with a partner at the time and she was like, what is going on with you? And we talked about it and she's like, I felt this thing around too. She's like, but I can't play it. She couldn't place it either. And so this, <laughs> it physically affects your world. The demons, spirit wants you to realize the demons the dark entities that are uh, attached to emotions affect the internal body about how you feel okay the watiko physically attracts and works with thank you spirit the physical 3d world because it's in everything in the structure in the dna codes okay and so spirit is saying to move out of this with tico okay you can't fight this thing okay it does not care if you say it so when i do shadow work and people work with me we face the demons we claim your power in it the Watiko laughs at that it doesn't care it doesn't even laugh it doesn't even i can't i can't even explain it you guys it's like a nothing it's like a complete narcissistic energy okay psychotic narcissistic energy and it just sits there and watches you it doesn't even want your light it wants you off the planet it wants your lineage off the planet it wants full reign of mama of pachamama of our earth okay so spirit wants you to know that with your counterpart okay and as a sensitive being this is not to scare you this is to for you to start recognizing that every single person on this planet is implanted and so if someone has done you wrong you can have greater compassion for them to know that they are unaware of the watika okay we are all trying our best to heal our lineage first and that's why lineage is so important because the wrongdoings that bring up colonizers okay and people that have enslaved other races and other people and people that have killed other people and all of this hate that's happening spirit is saying that is not from the devil energy however you want to look at dark energy okay i i use satan and the devil because it's that's just the ego stuff and that's just uh you know complete and i've seen satan in in an ayahuasca ceremony and stuff like that so it's like uh, and spirits bringing this up because they want me to tell you this i saw satan in an ayahuasca ceremony and i was watching all these demons leaving this one woman and um well she was having a hard time sorry with the demons coming out of her and i saw satan standing there by this gate and i said why don't you take your demons out of her and he said she made the contract with them 
and Satan said, all I'm here to do is to hold the demons. There's so many that <laughs> uh, nobody, you know, wanted to do this job. <laughs> Sorry. And so this is not, it's not an evil um, thing. Now, there is an entity beyond Satan, which I believe is like Lucifer, if you want to talk about. There is something else like Belizebub, and um, there's something dark at that. That stems into the Wetiko stuff, okay? That is darker and um, like a nothing. And that does not work with, again, emotions, you guys. That works with wanting your DNA lineage. So, the healing spirit is saying to come through for this is to really forgive your ancestors for what they've done because they've all been implanted over the last 500 years, okay? They want you to speak to your ancestors, create an altar for your ancestors to honor their light codes and to recognize that when you all of a sudden feel something it is not necessarily your twin okay when you are all of a sudden feeling that jittery shaky feeling inside of you it's an implant okay it is implanted by the Watiko in the DNA and spirit says when that happens prayer connect to spirit right away we cannot handle this on our own you guys okay this is something Thank you to bring God further, deeper into this. Now, Spirit is saying, now I did, okay, now they want me to bring up during another ayahuasca ceremony. Um, I said to Spirit, to, to God for us, I said to Creator and to my ayahuasca, I said, why is this Batiko here? Why would you do this in this contract? And Spirit says, and this is the, the information that I got at that time that I'm going to share now. When forces come from outside of the universe, there is a creator for every universe, okay? The all that I am that I am creates multi, you know, um, they're saying that's not necessarily right, what I'm saying right now, so just backtrack on that because I'm trying to rationalize it. They're like, go back to the channel, so just give me a second because I believe we're nearly done here. <sighs> Spirit is saying when the Watiko first came, it's such a manipulative energy that there was a contract that was made because earth was a place to learn for any form of consciousness that wanted to come and learn and it was an open school for everyone to come and learn to expand in consciousness now so when the Watiko showed up it's very manipulative it's very it can mask itself as many things but it has no feeling and even though there was no feeling, right, we figured what harm could that do? And so it was given free will to come into this incarnation for learning processes. And so there was a contract or some type of uh, agreement for this. Now it has gotten so out of balance in our world because it wants to take over the lineage, which is taking over free will. And that is God's right, which is free will, which is why we are now doing this work as twin flames, okay? And sacred partnerships and divine partnerships that are coming together to bring in the highest of the highest of the highest love that is available in this universe. And when you connect to that, this Wetiko cannot affect you. Okay. but it is bringing a code a light code down so strong that it reinfor it reinforces thank you but reinforces the free will of all consciousness on the planet including the Watiko free will it's reiterating that contract and that will bring the balance back okay so spirit is saying here is the work to do first is to start going through your life number one your lineage and to really look at the dark things especially if um, your family came over from the other side of the world as, and brought slaves over um, if you have indigenous blood in you as well okay um, and 
thank you because they're saying it break it starts with the land okay so the land that we're on are the codes that we need to work on so most of us are on indigenous land in north america that's where i'm at um if you i know in australia and like new zealand that is maori land if you are in england um that's different i don't know what was up there but there's a lot of like celtic um traditions and shamanism with uh i know with psilocybin and things like that up in like northern siberia as well so spirit is breaking up like wherever the land codes were original originated from every lineage has a shamanistic type of you know connection to the earth okay they're bringing up the machis of peru you know who were the medicine women um of the andes and things like that so they, they want you to trace this back and then to honor the bloodshed of what's happened. They want you to go back to look at what's happened in that lineage. And so this is some research to do, you guys, for your, for your calling in your life so that you can understand these dark codes, okay, to heal them and to look at, uh, you know, did you colonize people? Did you uh, kill off indigenous people? Did you, whatever the case may be, did you burn the witches of Salem? Did you, what was, what was uh, the bloodshed that happened in your lineage? And to create an altar for that and to honor that they were under the guise of the Wetiko. That was an implant that took over their free will, which is not God's will and to start healing that and speaking to those ancestors and to start working with them in this in this world right now thank you spirit and to do the complete opposite of your ancestors darkness the dark stuff that happened okay the dark stuff that happened and to look at the gifts how did they survive how did they you know what what teachings did they bring to the planet to help evolve and elevate humanity and now spirit is bringing back to where you are right now is where your lineage can help humanity and so they're bringing up you know if you are predominantly of caucasian spirit is saying how can i help this land that i'm on how can i help of my own lineage and people that are like me to bring awareness to heal this and how can i form alliances okay so that others can heal in my lineage and form alliance with bipoc is you know they're bringing up uh uh bipoc stands for sorry i have to use my logical mind so this is because when i channel i have to go back into my brain so just give me a second black indigenous people of color thank you spirit and um let's switch back and so spirit is saying that uh, the alliance needs to be formed and honored for the teachings that the bipoc lineages have now not to say that caucasians don't have that there is a lot of shamanistic qualities with caucasians but it's going back to eastern europe and going way back to figure out what those gifts are okay and then to start practicing and honoring that now when the Watiko shows up and you're feeling the shakiness and whatever else spirit says you have to get firm not angry okay <laughs> it's like a ceiling god's purifying fire is sealing when you want to uh i don't know why they're bringing up like when i if you roll if you roll have rolling paper and you roll and then you uh, you know when you light the paper and it seals it that's what they're showing me it's like that fire seals things up okay uh when you want to um I don't know cast iron or i don't know why they bring up but when you heat something up it seals things okay they're just giving me these multiple images i can't put it into words right now but they're saying it seals that fire seals learning how to call in god's source so strongly with that white bright purifying light to seal it and to claim your divinity and say my free will in my dna i claim my light codes in my dna and I seal that and I denounce all Watiko in my DNA. Okay. 
So Spirit is now saying in regards to Twin Flames, okay, they want you to recognize now that these dark codes, it's happening in your twin as well, okay, based on the lineage that they chose, okay. When the Spirit is bringing up when one is able to do this and own your divinity so strong in claiming this, it will pull them out of those infiltrations and those implants of the Boutico. Right. And this is why it is so important to move into mission. Spirit is bringing this very strongly. Twin, people that say that twin flames aren't don't have a mission, Spirit is saying that's not true. Spirit says it's such a divine calling. Thank you. Spirit is saying, why would I bring down such a high ancient coding of divine twin flames if they are just to sit and do nothing? Creator force is action-oriented energy. It moves, it creates, it destroys. That's the role of twin flames from the masculine side. And the feminine energy is to birth the new energy okay and we've talked about this a lot in these channel teachings and this is why a lot of the feminines are to walk into a new vibration are to move out of old vibrations and to seal that door shut okay because it is up to every twin flame to grow and expand at their own time and their own rate okay so spirit wants to reiterate you're not walking away from the connection you're walking into new vibration and sealing and shutting the door to old vibration it will cause the counterpart to feel that closure in order to recognize that their own free will is being taken from them by the Watiko. and when was the only time that they ever truly felt god's love it was with their twin right with their twin and like for my example was ayahuasca but it's most definitely that we find god within one another that's how twin flames work you see you experience it's a direct channel to god okay and this is why the darker forces are trying to keep twin flames apart these shamans these people medicine people not even just med this has just been my example but new agers and people that are doing all these like they were saying DNA channeling and whatever else. They have no idea that they're activating Watiko codes. This is the importance of having a twin flame connection. It is the highest of the high of the high in this universe, in this universe that can bring down these energy codes to lift up humanity. Spirit says that is everything right now for how the dark codes affect the twins. Um, recognize Spirit is saying that how the codes are passed in the uh, previous video that I did of how twins complement each other is very similar in how the codes are exchanged. The dark codes are exchanged between twins, so that hasn't changed. However, they wanted to bring up a lot of um, the Watiko energy so that you can understand that the one that is more awakened needs to really step into mission. And in order to step into mission, Spirit is saying, right, is, <laughs> Spirit says, just do the action. Destroy what you need to destroy. Create what you need to create. Have faith in what you have faith in. Pray like your life depends on it. Surrender to God. Let God come in. And it's embarrassing. It doesn't matter who falls away from you. If you're not with your twin, if doors close, your faith in God is the, is the power. Your relationship to source is the power. Thank you. Because when you bring in the channel through your body, you affect everyone around you. And when that happens, Spirit says, the healing can really commence. Okay? Now, they want you to also recognize that when you're getting feelings, okay, when you're feeling self-pity, 
feeling low, feeling angry, feeling self-judgment about yourself. Spirit says those are the darker things to transcend out of. That's actually helping you grow. So those feelings, Spirit is saying, is from God, right? I don't want to say like dark energies from like this is the thing we need to understand. Spirit is when I was on a mushroom ceremony, I did okay. If you guys know anything about penis envy mushrooms, oh my God, I took a fair dose of them. I swear to you, I was at the foot of God's throne. Okay. And God said to me, it was a burning bush. Okay. It's like what Moses saw. I was like, what is this burning bush? What is this? It was father God. And, and I was, I was told nobody wants to see my other face and this angelic face of light turned into dark. It was the devil's face. But just like how we are a parent, you know, we have to discipline our children. God does the same for us as a father. Okay. It's a disciplinarian. And so when you're feeling those feelings, Spirit is saying, just know that it is a growth process for you, okay? You're not allowing demons into your body. It's it's not about that. It's about claiming your divinity. And even with the Watika, you have to claim your divinity. However, it cannot be emotionally charged when you're working with, when you're standing up for yourself against Watika. You have to action. Spirit is very important. You have to say, no, I claim my DNA lineage in the light codes and you action your calling. Okay. All right. Oh, whew, that was intense. You guys, that was intense. Um, let me know what you think about that. Uh, that was, I wasn't even sure I was, I, I just feel so bad. Like I'm telling all these personal stories and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but it's fair to say that's part of my gift is to storytell, to tell you my experiences so I've gone through all of this. So I hope it helps you guys out there. Please uh, comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, you know, and just let me know what you think about this. And if you want to work deeper with me, if you'd like to come and do a safe ayahuasca ceremony with me and my amazing shaman, we're putting um, that info out soon, but you can find everything down below and I'm sending you guys so much love. Bye.